Good morning, or rather good afternoon. This has gone lunchtime. December the 1st, so we're on full mats now. So the question is, is will the mat change how I approach my tee shot? And will it change the way you approach your tee shot on your own golf course? So we'll go and have a look at that and uh, see if I do anything different. Now I think the biggest influence on what I do isn't going to be the position of the mat, but simply how cold is it? How soft is the ground? What, what rollout am I getting off my driver or my three wood? And how windy it is? Now it's eight degrees today, so it is above freezing, but the wind chill's bringing that right down. I, I don't know what it is, three or four degrees. I'm dressed like the Michelin man. My swing speed is gonna be way down on, on normal. So uh, I'm probably gonna end up hitting driver a lot, but uh, let's go out and see. Now they've promised some rain this afternoon and if it rains and really gets miserable I'm not completing the 18, I will come in. But we're going to be right up against dark anyway. You know, teeing off at half 12, it's dark by about 20 past 4. So the speed I can go will depend on what's in front of me. I certainly will be trying to stride out as fast as I can. Now see on the first tee I'll try and give you approximate yardages for each hole and I'll show you where the tee is compared to uh, the standard tee and we'll take it from there really. See you in a moment. We we'll start on the first and we're offset to the right which I quite like because it kind of like puts a little kink in the hole to uh, allow for a fade so that suits me quite well. Now I'm getting set up here and I'm, I know it's wrong, I know I'm wrong so I'm going to have a second go at this, see if I can actually improve where I'm aiming. Taking loads of club for this wind, you're six iron from 145. I'm glad I reset because I did fade that a bit and it's just come up a bit short but First part of the day, always nice to get that one in the bank. Now the second, we're a little forward level with the ladies but we are offset a long way to the left. So you need quite a hook here. Now last winter I used three wood but it de lost it so much you were, I was hitting knee high screamers. So this time it's a five wood, that extra height should help me. And sure enough, it is much easier to hit a good hook with more loft. Now they've finished the sprinklers, but now they're doing the bunkers around three of the greens. So this one's just a temporary. I make a bit of a hash of it. I could have probably got me par if I'd uh, bothered to get me putter out of the bag, but I couldn't be bothered. Hit the hole little knife with the wedge and a miss. Right we're forward here as you see on the caption you, you might be able to spot a little green square and you might actually be able to spot from here that there are now two pot bunkers down the right of this hole rather than one large one. I've left this up here that's not bad if you're watching on a big screen you'll be able to see how much mud is on that ball but once cleaned it's a straightforward par. Now number four is well forward but I don't think I'm going to get any closer than I would do from the white tee in the summer even though I hit a pretty decent shot there. Balls below the feet, winds into and off the left this has got to fade but I just dragged it left instead.
Number five. Now I like this tea box because it's offset to the right, which straightens the hole up, which is less requirement for me to try and hit a drawer off the tea box. So that's easier for me. I'm not any closer because the ground's so soft. But down the wind, I think a seven iron will reach this, and it does. Just to watch the wind give me a shove here. I really don't like the wind when I'm putting. And I usually hit a weak one when it gives me a good shove. But you know, power and stroke index one. We'll take that any day of the week. And number six is in front. So the hole is playing short, which means the ditch is reachable. It's only 211 yards. But into this strong wind, I can hit a three wood. Without the wind, I'd be hitting a five wood or even the hybrid. Flag's way at the back here, so it's hard to get to. And I've just slapped it a bit, so it's only just on. Right, number seven. Hole's closed today. The, the greenkeepers are redoing the bunkers. They're just as they were on two and three. The tee box is forward, it plays about 135 yards. I'd probably just hit a seven iron up here. On to eight. Right, number eight is only just in front of the yellows, so this hole is gonna play quite long for me. Gonna land on the upslope which will kill it, and then I'm hitting my second shot on the upslope, which will go to the moon and back and not go very far. So this par five is gonna play really quite long this winter. And there you go, I got 90 yards left, although part of that yardage is because of the back flag. And then this is where I find out that a nonchalant putt counts the same as a chulant putt. It's only three feet, but I managed to miss it by not paying it any attention. But then I'm not really that interested in the score today. And if you believe that, you believe anything. Number nine, 400 yards. So we're a long way forward in front of the, uh, the competition tees, which are back at four, six, seven. Missed the fairway, so I've picked up one of these dodgy lies. So you just gouge it out with a hybrid. It's not going to reach. But um, my pitching's getting a little better. Number 10, no particular distance advantage here. We're only just in front of the yellows. I would hit a five wood, but today it's, it's the three wood because of the wind. As soon as I heard him hit the ball, the bastard, I should have stopped my swing, but too late. Well, that's a foot, so I got me par. Well in front here, 
Now I would be hitting a 9-iron to the main green, but we're on this temporary because they've relayed the front of the green and dug up the bunkers again, so it's only 92. And after the idiots behind me, I think it's time to calm down a bit. Number 12, we are a long way forward, about 80 yards, so we can take on the corner. Now I slap this one. I mean it is dangerous because you're taking on the out of bounds. But I, I slap this one. A few days later I hit it good enough that I was up there by the road and only had a 9 iron in, but today it's a 5. And that's a bit of a tug. This isn't the side to miss it. Because this is where everyone leaves the green so the ground is churned up and Getting a good contact for a chip is very difficult. That's something you need to be aware of in the winter is don't miss it on the side where everybody walks. Miss it on the side where nobody goes where the grass is good. Thirteen is a long way forward, well, thirty odd yards. I don't feel the need to hit driver. Your know, three wood is enough to get up on top, but that wasn't a good swing and not a good result. But the rest of the hole goes okay. I think I've earned that one. Right, we're offset to the right. This is a very awkward angle. I think last win winter, or the first winter we were here as members, when we joined in the February, whenever it was, 2020, before the shit hit the fan, I think I was hitting driver here. I'm going five wood. So 14, this is an awkward angle. Say last year I was hitting driver and trying to hit a big slice, but then you slice in towards the outer bounds. So I'm very happy to go with a five wood here and get it over the top. Most importantly, I got my little tea peg back. Got a back flag on the back shelf today, so need to hit this one solid. And that is hugely fat. <laughs> Still, chip run, get the par. Good chance. So 15 is just in front and it's lower down so it's not really going to give me any advantage being a little shorter. Still going to land on the upslope but this time it will go splat so you're a long way back. I think I can reach this with the hybrid. Well, until you hit it fat I thought I could reach it the hybrid. That is really fat. 64 yards fat. I like this tee box. We're much higher up. Not that much forward, but higher up, which makes it easier to get over that ridge. 
even against the wind. I quite like the angle. That the angle is slightly reduced. But I didn't hit the drive very well, so I'm a fair distance back. Be a fun par from here. Shame that wasn't for a bird, really. Right, the rain's coming in, the gear's getting soaked. This is a bit of a pop up into the wind, it's short. Put the gear away, pick the ball up, time to go home. Number 18, so the temporary is down below the ordinary tee and offset to the left. I can hit three wood here or I can hit driver. Three wood is going to make it over the corner, over that tree. We'll put an arrow there so you can see which tree I'm talking about, but no real change here. Cheerio!